guys, hope you're well. Same process as ever. We might turn either side. You can introduce yourself by name and organisation. We'll set them Bible partway through for the Sundays, for Saturday at 10.30. Start with Dan, please. Yeah, well, Dan Rowan, BBC. Dan, we just grabbed the mic there. Sorry. Thanks, Alex. Hi, Pep. Dan Rowan, BBC. You said last year that you would walk away from the club if it was found that they had misled you over their denials of breaking financial rules. Given the sheer scale of the charges issued by the Premier League this week, how confident are you that you have been told everything? Has it in any way affected your belief in the club? Good morning, everyone. My first words on behalf of the club is for the, our thoughts for the people in Turkey and Syria. For this uh, terrible moment, uh, it's happened. Uh, my first thought is that we are already being condemned. So, like it's happened, what's happened right now, these weeks after Monday, it's happened the same what happened in UEFA. That UEFA, it was a condemned. We were, uh, we had already accusation, accusation, now we have just charge. Why should, in that moment when overturned the situation, when they, what they told me before the defend the accusation for UEFA, the club proved that were completely innocent, why should not think right now when there is not, not even accusation, it's just condemned, it's just charges or suggestions. So you have to understand that uh, between 90 teams of the family is accusing us without the latest opportunity to defend and the word of my club, my owner, my chairman, my CEO, my people explain everything during these three or four years. You know exactly in what on what side I am. You're confident and obviously innocent until proven guilty, clearly, but because of the unprecedented number of charges over such a long period of time, hmm. does it sadden you that inevitably there will be some out there, people watching on, who will reach a conclusion that some of the achievements, the record-breaking achievements that you've, you've brought to this club are tainted? Uh, another side, I would say that w w we are lucky we live in a, in a marvelous country that uh, we have a society when every th everyone, like you said, is innocent until proven guilty. We didn't have this opportunity. We are already sentenced and tough. What's going to happen, I don't know. So, in the other side, I'm personally, I'm happy that we are here because, like we have happen, okay, we have the chance to defend. We cannot defend, I think we have a good lawyers, but we cannot say that UEFA had the bad, bad lawyers. And I think the Premier League supported for 19 teams to put it out for the Premier League are going to take a good lawyers too, to defend the position like we're going to defend our position. I would have loved to wait and see, and the time will see, or the time will dictate what is going to happen. In just in case we are not innocent, we will accept what the judge, the Premier League, decide. But what happens if in the, the same situation that UEFA happened, we are innocent? What happened to restore or pay back our damage? Because the damage is now is for one day, get eight, nine, ten. So one week later, UEFA make a sentence against us. Nine teams, Burley, Wolves, Leicester, Newcastle, Spurs, Arsenal, United, Liverpool, Chelsea. Out of the Champions League, but they won at that position. Like Julius Cesar said, they are not in this world, they are not enemies or friends. They are just interest. And they wanted to put it out to take that position that we want on the pitch you know, take it there and take it in our position. So now is the same is different than that in that moment? Absolutely zero. The same. The same articles, the same accusations, the same everything. You have to be out of the uh, UEFA Champions League. You have to go to League One. No, no, League One is too much. League Two, or maybe Conference. We were in main road. We were not a team to own a long history, a lot of titles. We have been in the low divisions. We'll be back there. No, not a problem, just in case. We'll call Paul Dikov, Mike Summerby. And we will do again a good, a good, uh, a good process. We'll be back. I'm pretty sure. 
but they should wait. They should wait. Because at the end, it's okay. The Premier League had not decide, put it there, okay, we're going to defend ourselves what happened in the, in, the, in the UEFA situation. Didn't wait, and now didn't wait either. It's not unprecedented this story. It's the second time of this story. We lived that before, two or three years ago. What was a sentence? He is not. Don't forget it. He is not. You accuse us. <laughs> that should be out. But between these 19 before and these 19 teams now, between the word of them or the word of my people, I'm sorry, I rely on the word of my people. We did uh, the club, okay. I talk with all of us, but I didn't speak. We training like normal to try to beat uh, Aston Villa. And you're confident that they won't be distracted. The Why should I be distracted? The confident with my players. What we want. So the moment from Sergio score, the moment for Inhal Gundogan and Aston Villa score, for all the big moments we are living, the seven years belong to us, for our fans, for our people. And this is no one can pull it out. It's impossible. So and after, okay, the court will dictate uh, what happened. And I said before, so at the end it's nice. But after, when it's going to happen, I'm fully convinced that we will be innocent. What will happen next? We will stop now? It's not because of the UEFA. So since Abu Dhabi took over, or take over the club, since the day one it was like that. Uh, what do you think has been wrong with your team in some of the matches in recent weeks? Because you've had a, a string of results recently that have been unlike your side. Well, we lost in the Spurs. The rest was quite good. In the FA Cup, in, Champions, in, in Premier League, and the game in, in the Spurs, I'm sorry, was not bad enough. Not good enough, but also neither bad enough. So we have to, of course, we know the situation. We have to make more consistency in terms of results, and we're going to try on Sunday, start on Sunday. In past seasons, you've had a number of players who, I know they have to earn places in your side, but from the outside, they seem to have been automatic picks for you because you could rely on their form and rely on their fitness. Do you think you've still got a number of players who are in that, that same bracket this season? I'm delighted with the team and I know how they're training lately. And... Uh, Normally we didn't give up in the previous season, in the toughest moments, we were there and I have the feeling that we will continue to, to do it. Hi Pep. Um, you mentioned as recently as Friday about the teams who'd written a letter to the Premier League to, to get you knocked out of the Champions League. What do you think is the, the long-term aim here? Do you think it's that they want your owners to sell, they want you to go? You know, what do you think is the long-term aim, aim of this sort of sustained, uh, sustained accusations? We were not part of the establishment and always have been in this league. But in the same time, I understand they can do it, but always I have regret the fact, wait, no. Let us ourselves to defend, please. So that's all. So I don't know in other countries, but in this country, everyone is innocent until, you know, proven guilty and didn't happen. So when Wefa was a sentence, he is not even that. And we are already, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? What happened? We're innocent. Who's going to get back, return our damage? What the people write and tell about us? Here, there has a thousand millions of efforts behind the scenes. So they are accusing something. We are doing wrong to win games. No, no, no. We try to do it our best on the pitch like everyone else. A few lessons. Point fingers for the other ones. Few lessons for the other ones. They should do it. Unfortunately, it will be a long period today I speak and because it's my turn and will be over from now on because now it's time for the lawyers for the both sides to defend the positions for one side and for the other one. And I'm not going to talk more, but so unfortunately it should happen immediately in one month or two months or three months. It will be longer, I know that. But it's what it is. We live in what happened in welfare and we continue to do it in, in that way.
Pep, um, what, what do you want to see from your team on Sunday? What's the main development you want to try see? To beat, try to beat Aston Villa. Try to play good. Try to, to know exactly what we do against a good team, a good side, with many weapons, with a manager with a lot of experience in, a, in important games. How good they do both sides and, and, and try to beat them. This is what you have to do. The players will be focused in, in our game. That, that's for sure. But Here and in the past, in the future, well, like it happened in the past. But can, even if they are focused on the game, can all of this be used as an extra layer of motivation, maybe? No. No, of course, it, it hurts when they want to take care of what we won in the past, on the pitch, absolutely everything. So, yeah, of course, right, but You know, that happened Monday, a lot of rumors, a lot of noise in the next days, but I, I had the feeling that when the games, you know, a lot of games is coming back, the people, you know, the, everyone is going to do the job that they have to do, ourselves on the pitch, the, the lawyers in the court. Hey Pep, how much contact have you had with Ferran and Khaldun this week and what kind of assurances have they given you that everything was above board. The same one happened in UEFA, in the moment of the UEFA, the same, not even one step back. I would say they are more confident because they have more experience, I would say, they know more information, they have a lot, a lot of pages that we present in UEFA that I think it's going to present, introduce um, against Premier League. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's say, do everyone, continue to do our job, everyone in his department is going to do the job, the officials do the job, the doctors do the job, nutrition do the job, you do the job, the players do the job, and everyone is going to do the job. Hi Pep, it seems like this is going to take many years to play out. Um, how frustrating is that for you that everyone has already condemned you and it will take years for you to prove your innocence? Well, it happened in UEFA, it was always one or two years until, until it happened. So, now it's happened, I think it's going to talk about that every single day, so... So, yeah, adapt, adjust and focus on what you have to do on the pitch. Would you like it to be settled as, as soon as possible? Yeah, but there are uh, a process, uh, you know, a timing, a timing is the timing and there are a lot of process, you know, and Everything is not one day for the other one, we know it, so it will be long, so yeah, try to do it, I know it's going to happen, we will love to say tomorrow, we just in case we are innocent or not, but that is not going to happen. Hi, uh, Pep at the back, uh, Ian Ladyman from the Daily Mail. I'll just ask you a very, very simple question. Do you think that other clubs in the Premier League don't like Manchester City, don't want Manchester City? are resentful of what Manchester City have achieved? It's difficult for me to answer this question. What do you think? What do you, what do you I don't know. So. <laughs> they open a precedent right now. What they have done to us, be careful. Be careful in the future because many clubs can they make a suggestions and there are a lot of clubs that they can be accused like we have been accused without maybe being innocent. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but uh, it's a question I don't know because I can have an opinion, a feeling, but it's like the people say, what the people, what the fans think, I don't know. Uh, what they push to get rid of, you know, out of this, in the, in the competitions, that, isn't, that is, is obvious. So because they believe that we didn't behave properly And we can accept that, but let us defend when we believe we did it properly. Like we show not one century ago, so just a few years ago, like the same situation happened today, I had it in the past, the same happened in the welfare, it's happened today, and we didn't learn about that. So there are a lot, a lot of things, there are suggestions, there are not, a, there are not sentences about that, it's completely different. But do you suspect that this has been driven by the clubs? This has been driven by the other clubs? Is that what you suspect? Yeah, of course. It's the Premier League. Why do you think it's been driven by know. the clubs? I don't know. You have to go to the 
all the CEOs, Danny Levis, and all these kind of people, and ask them, go to the press conference and ask them to, and do it. Last couple for the embargo, please, guys, James. Uh, when you when you you faced with a situation like this, does it make you you yourself more determined than ever to fight for your club, you know, on the pitch as well as off it? Hopefully, and hopefully, the reason why they are going to sack me out of here is the results. This is mainly the reason why the managers stay in the position or stay in the position. Hopefully, will be there. And I think in that situation, we will decide together for the confidence that we have, to trust each other. But I'm not moving from this seat. I can assure you, more than ever, I want to stay that. Now, so more than ever. Yeah. Sometimes I have doubts of seven years, eight years, seven years already is a long time. Not even in any country, so many, many years, imagine in the Premier League, so many, many years. But now I don't want to move on. Not because the people say, yeah, if the, they lie to you, Pep. They didn't lie to me. Look what happened with her. I said to them, what happened? So, Pep, we did nothing wrong. We proved it. Now it's the same case. Why should I don't trust with my people? I trust with uh, all the CEOs and owners for the 19 clubs, like it was nine clubs in the UEFA. It happened? No. I trust with my people. Between them and my people, and my people. No one second for the other ones. No one second. And when, and when, um, when you have a situation where you feel like everyone's out to get, <coughs> get you, as a club, as a manager, as a playing squad, can you use that as a tool to create a siege mentality to give you that extra sense of desire? Might help actually help you get through your, some of the problems you've encountered on the pitch in recent We months. are not alone when we are together. But against 90 teams, we are alone, that's for sure. But it's not, it's not a problem. But that it will not be sustained in two years just for all oh, this energy because they accuse you. You have to play good. You have to beat... Uh, you have to beat... We have to beat Aston Villa. These 19 clubs is going to help us to beat Aston Villa. We have to do it. Like always, we have done it. So... <coughs> Aguero scored a goal to give us our Premier League. Gundogan scored the two goals with Rodri to win the Premier League against Aston Villa a few months ago. So we did it on the pitch. Do you want to do it off the pitch? you want to take out of the pitch? It's okay. But let us to defend, please. Let us to defend. And after, if we did something wrong, like, I guess it's not going to happen, but just in case it happened, we accept it. I said before the UEFA, you recorded the UEFA, so I rely on them 100%. If at the end the judge said whether well, something wrong, we're going to accept it. Of course, we're going to accept it. But what happened if we're innocent? We're going to get back the damage, all the damage, all the have done. No, they have to go, they have to punish and money and point deduction and go to the second division and third and third. I don't know how many ideas. I don't know where they come from. I don't know how many ideas I, I read what had to happen. And the opposite side, what's going to happen? Hi, Pep. Um you're being very defiant, um, that's quite understandable, and I hear what you're saying about you defending your club and the damage that has been done with regards to UEFA, but you're a human being, your players are. Surely you must have some doubts in quiet moments about the future, what might happen, because no one really knows, right? And that, that can't help you future. as a manager, your football team, the players you're trying to get to play for you, because you know, they're human beings and they're bound to have doubts, right? The future is... Uh it's lunch time after this marvelous press conference. But Aston Villa, I'm talking so about this Sunday, is, this for example. Is Aston Villa, of course, and after Arsenal and Champions League is around the corner. This is, I would say, is the future. What's going to happen? Who knows it? So we cannot control control it. So when we will adapt, what have the players have to do is what they have to do: defend this club as best as possible. What they have done in the last 10, 12 years, 13 years, especially when. You know, our own chairman took over the club. With regards to having to manage human beings, would this be one of the worst things that, that can happen midway through a season, a campaign, Champions League about to start again, you're chasing the title? Is this maybe the sort of worst nightmare for you as a manager? Right now, what yes. they're going what, to what's leave? What's going on? No. 
I don't know what's going to happen. So it's the same. I, I live. I had the same feeling. It happened in UEFA. Honestly, it was the same feeling. It was quite quite similar. Well, quite similar. No, UEFA was worse. It was quite similar. So I would say tomorrow the players and focus it in your talent and your effort and go to what's going to happen if at the end after the sentence in one year and a half, two years, and after we see, you know, what happened. I, I don't want to anticipate it because honestly, I don't know. All the people anticipate it already, but I don't want to anticipate what is going to happen. You know? Take the handbag off 10.30 p.m. on Saturday, please.